Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. It's kind of a late morning in a way because, well, if you saw my update video, uh, yeah, so we're behind by a couple hours because I spent a couple hours doing the update video. In in game hours, that is. So it is like uh, eight thirty in the morning, so kind of a late start, if you will. But what I need to do before we go harvesting today, so we're probably not gonna get much harvesting done today. It's gonna be pretty much uh, run around with uh, our head cut off to fields that haven't been harvested yet. We need to put up some scarecrows so we can uh, get ten percent more of a crop harvest here. Wham. I still don't know social benefits plus 250. Am I getting 250 social points when I put one of those up? I have to check. Uh, I really wasn't paying attention. I thought when it said uh, in the patch notes you get a social benefit, I thought it meant like if you do things around the scarecrows, you get more. I have no idea. Let me look at my social points here. Uh, we'll put a, we've got to put a scarecrow in every field. And it doesn't matter because there are no collisions on these things. So it's not like you got to work around them. Yeah, so you get 250 social points by putting up a scarecrow. Why do we get social points? I have no idea. Uh, maybe because it's a nice decoration? I don't know. Now this field is pretty much done from this worker, but we'll put down scarecrow anyways. Maybe I'll get 10% now. Too bad this didn't come along before. We did our spring cleaning because we'd be doing a lot better than we are now. But it is what it is. So right now we're just going to go around and put scarecrows in the fields that haven't been harvested. Um, where's the scarecrow? Over here. So that way... Uh, hello? There we go. So that way uh, when we do get a harvest from the fields... We are getting the 10%. Oh, I got more fields around here than I thought. Oh, taking a swim. Kind of a swim in early April. Maybe not be a good idea. It's kind of cold. Cold water. But luckily we haven't done our big field yet either. I'm going to try to get most of the fields around here for now, and I can always come back later on, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Now, with the new patch, uh, hiring workers, I don't know. They didn't say anything about they fixed that problem in the patch, so we'll see. I have no apples to pick either because it's April. I assume that's why there's no apples. If you saw the update video, I went to a previous save, and the apples were there. I don't know about the green or red apples. I read that a couple times after I did the video and it still kind of made no sense about the green apples. It says, oh, pick green apples and it'll be ripe in 20 days. Then the next line says, you cannot pick green apples. Uh, okay, well, you just said I could. So I don't know. I can't test it. I haven't seen a green apple yet. There we go. Now we now we got some uh, some scarecrows up. So I'm going to do the safe thing, save the game, and hire some workers around here, and we'll see what happens. Well, I hired one worker, and the game froze. So this is a different field I'm trying. We'll see what happens. He's coming along. Zooming along. He's going to have a header pop up eventually, right? Where are you going, dude? You're right here. Unless your header is somewhere. I mean, the header's just going to appear out of nowhere. Well, I, I like to get harvesting today myself as well. By the way, the price of canola today is nine twenty, so a very good price. This guy has driven around the entire field. Literally, he, he, he started like down in that corner and he's all the way over here. There's the header. All right, so he's harvesting and we're getting money, so that is no problem there for that field. Let's see if I can get another worker going today. Uh, let me try the other field across there, but first things first, save the game, and let's try hiring another worker. 
Well, I've tried a couple different fields, and every time the harvester just gets to harvesting the crops, the game just locks right up and freezes on me, so... Um, I think we're good for now. <laughs> we may be hiring the rest... Uh, not hiring. Uh, we may be doing the rest of the fields ourselves, which is fine. I can start hiring workers to start uh, plowing fields or whatever. So in my update video, I should have a scarecrow in this field and the next field over. So we're going to get to harvesting our fields ourselves. Uh, maybe I will start hiring some workers, like I said, to start plowing some fields. Maybe out in the east side. Because uh, those fields I don't really feel like working in. Well, I, I like I like the size of the fields. Uh, is this a long ways away? So maybe by the end of the day or something, I can start hiring people to start plowing. And we can start maybe putting crops in those fields. Uh, I won't hire anyone to fertilize the fields because hiring them to fertilize the fields only puts down artificial fertilizer and it's not for X. So you would still have to go over there to get the 200% fertilization down. So yeah, I might as well just go over there with fur X and we know we can get almost all those fields done in one trip. Two trips, we'll get them all done. Not a problem. So we also do, I took out some of the zucchini in the greenhouse and put some melons in there. So in a few weeks time, we'll have some melons. Which is kind of odd that they introduce melon pie as something your wife will cook because you can make melons in there. Honestly, I've never heard of melon pie. Call me, call me what you want. Uh, if you know about melon pie, you've had melon pie, let me know. I've never had melon pie. Now, we can grow pumpkins in the greenhouse. I've had tons of pumpkin pie. <laughs> Let's... Uh, not shy about that. So, why can't she make pumpkin pie? I don't know. But I guess melon pie it is. And, of course, apple pie. But, there's no apples around yet because it's it's April. Now, in, I, when in my update video, I loaded the game up that was in... August and there was nothing but red apples on the trees no green apples so I don't know if, if apples are just harvest once a year like in a way they should be or how it's gonna play out but there was a couple of things in the patch notes for the update I didn't quite understand it said yeah we're late for the January update so here's a February update I'm like so there's you're just not having a January update, or this is a January update in February. I don't know what that meant. But we got an update, so that's the main thing. I hope the next update fixes some of the bugs, like hiring workers for harvesting. I seem to have that issue now quite a bit more than, than before. But now with the scarecrows in the fields and the price of canola being 920 today, I would like to get as much harvesting as I can done today and selling as I can today just because of the price. But it's too bad I can't hire more workers because the game just keeps freezing. So I tried three different fields in the last try and it kept freezing so I had to keep restarting. And the price of canola kept staying at 920 so I got lucky there. And I just got tired of trying hiring a worker to, uh, oh, we're almost full. Trying to hire some workers to get some fields done. I wanted to start to get some work done myself. So we'll try hiring one worker at a time now over at, uh, at the homestead area. And see what he can get done. I'll try doing the big fields because if I get them working in the big fields, that's just more time that they can work. And, of course, more harvesting they can get done. I probably won't get three trailers to the sell point today just because we are getting a late start. I mean, it is already 1030. Like I said, I spent the first three hours of the morning doing the update video. Which I put out on Thursday. Last Thursday, this video is going out on a Monday. And of course the video on Friday was pre-recorded before the update, so that's why it may look kind of weird. If you've been following along.
So we're trying to work double time today. Double time because the price is 920 and uh, yeah, we want to get to our $4 million mark at the end of spring cleaning, which seems reachable at this point, especially now with the scarecrows giving us an extra 10% yield on the field, which is quite a bit for how much a scarecrow cost. Now, I kind of wish, I know I know it may be a little bit too much that we would have to get, go get materials to build a, build a scarecrow. Uh, maybe you'd have to use like this wood and then you'd have to use like straw from your harvest. Like it would say it would take like uh, two pieces of wood and maybe one bale of straw to make a scarecrow. So instead of just going up there and posting it for 250, you'd actually have to use like a nail gun and you know, it would have like two dots on it to, to fix a scarecrow or to build a scarecrow and boom, you got your scarecrow. But for a long time, people have said, you know, we need something to help protect our crops from the animals that are, that are out there, like the birds. Now, the birds that are on the field, like storks, I don't know. I don't think storks really are that much into seed. I think they're more into fish. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, but, I mean, if you had corn stalks, that would keep the, uh, I don't know what kind of deer they have in this game that are out there uh, and the warthogs would eat corn as well I would assume and also if you didn't see the update video uh, I suggest you do so because well, maybe I can show you the kitchen later on the kitchen looks a lot better I hope they have more updates for the house uh, there's actually color inside the kitchen it's not just all grayish chromish color it's actually and uh, there's more design to it more looks to it I was hoping that we could paint our own walls uh, different colors my house would probably look like a circus I always go for the weird colors right through the scarecrow no collision didn't knock him over no so I did get the rest of the field in the combine. And we should have more than enough grain to fill up the trailer. And then we can head up to the sell point and get ourselves over three and a half million in the bank. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the trailer if I can get the right angle. There we go. I just had to zoom out a little bit because I probably can overfill the trailer. Yes, I can. Uh, quick math tells me I can. So we need, to, we need to stop it as soon as it gets up near 32,000. Then it's on up to the sell point. Close enough. Don't want to lose any grain. Bring the combine over to the next field. And we'll head on up. Like I said, the green that we got in the trailer, good enough to give us over three and a half million for sure. And I'm hoping to get this field done today as well, which I should be able to. And it's probably noon. Actually, it's one o'clock. And then maybe after I sell some green, maybe I'll try hiring some more workers again, try it again. It, just because I failed or the game failed one time when you h try to hire a worker for a field doesn't mean that it'll lock up on me again for the same field and i've been having this problem for quite a while actually but it seemed to be more it, it occurs more than ever um but then again i went a while without harvesting fields because uh let's see when did we harvest like last august so we had many episodes where we're not harvesting we were plowing cultivating seeding and fertilizing Yes, I know my trailer is full. That's why we're headed up to the sell point. Now, I have a scarecrow in the next field that we're doing. I don't believe I got a scarecrow in this field over here. So I just got to make sure when I try hiring some workers, I'm sending them to fields that got scarecrows in them because it is an extra 10%. No sense to send them to a field that doesn't and losing that 10%. 
Well, as you can see, we're over three and a half million, which is nice, and we are empty. So, time to head back up to the field that we got to do next. I'm going to try to hire some workers after I save the game. Uh, hopefully, I can get some more workers going. I would love to get more fields going today, just to. I don't know, I, I want to get to that $4 million mark and then I can relax because I kind of set a goal out. And uh, I like reaching goals. It's just the way I'm built. It's just the way I am. So I'll bring you back with an update once I start harvesting that field over there to see if I can get, see if I got any more workers going. Well, so far hiring workers over by the homestead is not working out well for me at all. So I was thinking, well, maybe I can try over here, but before we do... I gotta build some scarecrows because yeah the 10 percent thing um probably the best thing to do is uh it's like where's my where's my tractor <laughs> that is kind of a long ways to to take a jaunt looks like our worker is finished in that field yeah he's done He's done. So now I don't have any workers at all. But I was thinking, you know what? If I can get a worker to work the big field, that would be nice. Uh, he'd be working in there for quite a while. Always late, never. Who's always late and never on time? I wish they would add just a little bit more dialogue to the game because I think each character only has like three or four lines that they say. A minor thing, but you know. Alright, so now we gotta find out where this scarecrow goes. Uh, hitting the right mouse button so I can find out where. And no sense taking the tractor over because the field is literally just like right here and I can't drive through the field. So it's gonna be kind of fun trying to find the center of this field. And then I'm gonna try hiring a worker to harvest this field. And this is the field. You know, I was kind of looking forward to doing it myself, but at this point, uh, that was at the beginning of spring cleaning. But now I'm thinking, you know what? Hiring a worker to do this field would be great. Um, where's the scarecrow going to be in this field? There he is. My worker missed the spot. Boom. All right, I'm going to save the game. Uh, let's cross our fingers of hiring a worker for this field. All right, so the worker is hired. Let's keep track of them here. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't know where you're trying to go. Don't get too confused. I decided to show this that way if it crashes, I have proof that the game does crash every time I hire a worker. No, he's not going to be able to, he's not figuring it out. I have no idea what he's doing. Maybe, maybe he will figure it out. Um, okay, somehow he got through the guardrail. Okay, at least he's next to the field now. Now the game won't crash until he quote unquote starts harvesting. So if we see the money, oh, this is gonna work. And I'm in the way. All right, so we got someone to do the big field for us. This would have taken us a while. I mean, it's gonna take him a while as well, but at least this frees me up to get back over to the homestead to start harvesting those fields. I'm only gonna hire one worker now. Um, you know, as long as I have one going, it'll be good. Especially today, because the price is not, you know, nine twenty. All right, so I need to get back to doing what I was doing. So we have two more fields to do over here. I need to get the tractor hooked back up to the trailer. And uh, yeah, I'm only gonna. It being almost three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm just gonna be able to get that field done today. I'm not gonna get all the fields across the street done today like I was kind of originally hoping but the update came out so I lost three hours there and I'm losing time a little bit by putting scarecrows down uh, and uh, trying to get workers to work.
uh, things go according to plan, hopefully today we should reach $3.6 million in the bank account. Yeah, because I want to bring a full trailer up. That's going to be pretty close to $30,000 right there. So, yeah, that's not going to be... Hmm. I don't know. I don't I have to see how much that worker gets done. We'll find out. Maybe we won't get there. I'm starting to do some math. I'm thinking, you know what? That That's quite a stretch. Can we not drive over the header? Can I hit the right button? Hook the header up. There we go. Header down. Header on. Cruise control on. I got some crop from the previous field. I do have a scarecrow. Yes, I do. So a hectare and a half. I'm off to work. We got someone working the big field down here. That's working. So right now I'm just going to hire one worker at a time to harvest a field. Like I just said, uh, at least we know that we are getting the money from the harvester as well. So maybe if I get adventurous later on, maybe I'll try hiring another worker. But none of the fields down by the homestead seem to be working. It keeps freezing the game. Yeah, absolutely it does. This is our second trailer of the day. And also, if you can kind of look at the price that we're at. 3.559, now we're at 3.56. That puts us over $1 million profit right now on spring cleaning. Because we started April 1st at 2.556. So our original goal was to get, a, you know, last fall we said, oh, you know, let's get $1 million in the spring cleaning. We've done that. But then again, I knew that was going to be easy once we started. So I said, let's change the goal to get to $4 million. Now we're just a little bit closer to getting there. It is getting late in the evening, but I do want to finish the field that we're in. So we're going to go back, finish up that harvest, and then sell whatever canola we got. Because really at 920, I want to sell that. I don't want to just, uh, well it's not a full trail, let's not bring it, we'll sell it tomorrow. Uh, 920 is a pretty good price. And actually right now, peas are selling at over $1,000 per, so, but... You don't get as good of a harvest from peas over the winter as you do is from canola. So looking at price is not always a thing. It's the yield from the field that you want to look at. But you can see, uh, obviously I got a little harvest into the combine because three combine full uh, will overfill this trailer. So I got a little bit more to go in this field. You know, maybe we'll get like 20 grand more. Um out of this field maybe and we'll bring it up and sell it so we'll get close to 3.6 million find out soon enough but it is starting to get a little bit on the dark side I don't need lights just yet but maybe by the time we wrap it up maybe I will well I was kind of hoping for 20,000 out of this field but really it's gonna be like half that so <laughs> but at least we're getting the field done so hopefully tomorrow we can get the two other fields done down here. That one over there by William's house and the one just down there. And of course we got the worker doing his thing in the big field. And then we'll head back over towards the farmhouse. Start doing some of those fields. Maybe I'll try hiring some more workers again. I, you know... It gets a little frustrating now and then to keep having to restart the game because the game freezes up, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, I don't know the rhyme or reason to it. There we go. You can tell it's getting late because you can hear the, the night sounds like the crickets. So let's go ahead and park our combine harvester over here. This will be the next field that we do. If I get out, do the lights stay on? No, they don't. All right, let's bring our 10,000-ish uh, liters, oh uh, yeah, liters, kilograms up to the sell point. We'll get $10,000 for it. So just shy of 3.6. It's too bad that I can't have four workers going at once because we would uh, probably be pretty close to actually wrapping up harvesting right now. But the way it's going, we got probably five more days of harvesting to go because I got to do it the rest of it pretty much ourselves and I do want to get it done so we can get to do some plowing and cultivating and 
and manure spreading and all that fun stuff. I couldn't figure what that was there, and it's actually a cow. I should have remembered that the cows were there. So usually I wouldn't bring uh, this little, well it's not that little of amount up to the sell point, but being 920 today, I think it's worth it and we don't have to go too far for it. Let me pop on some lights here. They're not a great help right now because it's not too dark. But we have reached our original goal of $1 million from the spring cleaning. And as you saw me putting down scarecrows in the beginning down by the homestead, farmstead, or whatever that, that, what is that called now? Homestead. In the homestead area, we got a few amount of fields over there to still harvest. And of course that worker is going to town on the big field. He's going to be there for a while. So hopefully tomorrow the price is just as good. The weather looks good for the next three, well, if you're counting today. Uh, the following two days after this, the weather's looking good, so no rain. Don't have to worry about that. Alright, we got the tractor and trailer down here by our combine. It's time to <coughs> teleport back home, as one farmer does. Uh, what am I on? I'm on the riding mower. Oh, yippee skippy. And then I teleport through the wall, as one does. So now when we come in here, you can see we got melons in here. Uh, zucchini. Zucchini. Uh, it looks like I went full zucchini in here. And I do believe I, I put the sprayer uh, sprinkler on, so it's, it's, uh, it's watered well for a while. Rex uh, apparently doesn't need to be fed anymore. Looks like the wife is sleeping. But we'll bring in here in case you didn't see the update. So we'll turn the light on. Um, yeah, you can see the kitchen has been completely redone. Uh, we got some color in here now. Uh, the cabinet's kind of like a maroonish color. Um, yeah, uh, pots and pans and dishes. It looks a lot better. The wall has a little bit of color to it. Uh, it looks a lot better in here. A lot better. Uh, this is the only room that I noticed that was done. Oh, I better turn the light off. I don't want to close that door. Gotta leave it open so the wife can get in there. Ah, now it's time to go down because it's, uh, it's just after 8 o'clock. I'm surprised the wife went to bed that early. Scram, animals. Now it's time to relax for a while. So hopefully tomorrow we can get done down at Old Wheatford. And like I said, move down to the homestead area, like where we are now, and start harvesting some of the fields down here. Just make sure that the scarecrows are in the fields before I do so, so we can get the extra 10%. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on The Day in the Farm. But until then, have a good one.